Welcome back to my second part uh, of the John Byrne videos. Um, here is a copy of Comics Feature. It's a fanzine. And I bought this back in 82. And, uh, you know, I kept it, as you can see, in real good shape all these years because you have to understand that when this magazine came out, um, August, July, I guess July and August of 1980, um, it came out way before the reprint of X Men 137, where they reprinted the alternate ending with the color. So this magazine came out before, so before I, I bought the reprint, I already knew about the alternate endings because of this magazine. And I remember when I saw this magazine in the 50 cents bin at my uh, local comic store back then, I did not hesitate to buy it. And you know, Whenever I read through these fanzine, I have a lot of fun because, you know, you got to understand, you know, it, it's, it brings it bring back a lot of good memories because in the good old days, you know, you don't have the internet, any of that stuff to read about what other people think uh, about, you know, comic books in general. And so when you have magazine like this that have all kind of write-ups, articles, interviews, of writers, artists, publisher is is always fun to catch up. But here is the inside of this book: the many alternate fates of the Phoenix. And um, for those that really want to read this, contact me, email me, PM me, and uh, I will see if I can scan the article and then you can read it. But I want to focus more on the great penciling of John Byrne. Look at this. At the height of John's Byrne career, his penciling is just beautiful. I mean, I can literally buy his comic book with just the penciling. You can skip the coloring, you can skip the inking because I think his penciling is just so beautiful. Look at this one. The famous splash page of the alternate X-Men 138 if genes survive. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. As I said many times, John is so fantastic. John Byrne is fantastic at drawing eyes, even at this angle where the eye is not even looking at you. It's beautiful and sexy. Look at that. Gorgeous picture. Look at this. I always find it interesting how in the old days, you know, when they were doing the lettering, you can see the, you know, how they even draw lines to make sure that the letters line up. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. His penciling was so clean and crisp. You know, it's it's amazing. I mean, I, I can look at this page all the time, and I have. And each and every time I open this magazine, I can't help but, but admire the way John Byrne pencil. And you can see why Terry Austin was so um, complimentary of John Byrne's style. This is because if you look at the way he ink, he he, drew, he pencil, it's it's definitely make it almost easy for a good inker to add depth to the picture. You know, unlike somebody like um, you know, Walt Simonson or Bill Sinkovich 
um, that have or gene colon you know have a very different penciling style that might not be uh, suitable for many inker to try to make the art appear the way the artist the penciler intended to be but John Byrne penciling at the height of his uh, career I think was so beautiful so crisp um, I brought this book out here's my beautiful copy of Marvel team up sadly I have sold the majority of my Marvel team up run I only kept a few uh, copy and basically I kept the the issue that had John Byrne drawing in them um, and this one's for Gary X Collect. He's a Tiger fan also, and uh, I, I think you know outside of X Men, Fantastic Four, I think a lot of people didn't pay that much attention to John's Burnham work um, during um, the, the 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 height of his career because his work for uh, the team up books are just fantastic uh, just look at this beautiful shot I remember flipping through this book the first time I was wow by the art I was not surprised but at the same time one thing I did notice was I can tell that the inking while pretty good was definitely not Terry Austin you know so but as you can look look at this beautiful sharp crisp you know if you are not uh, familiar with John's Byrne uh, work on the Marvel team up books I highly recommend buying them if you are a John Byrne fan because I think you will be very happy with the story the stories as well as the art inside it is great I want to flip through real quick on perhaps the best page of this book is right here this is a full page as you can see take a look at this unbelievable Look at the detail on Tigra. Tigra has never been drawn this beautiful since. Look at that. Wow. Amazing. How can you not enjoy those pictures, right? But like, like I said, the work is really well done. And to my surprise, when I finished reading this book, and flip through to uh, the credit page there you go Dave Hunt and he has done all the works with John Byrne so this is not the first time but it's definitely one of the name that most people are likely not familiar with but look at that as you can see his inking was very good no doubt uh, John Byrne Chris penciling make it fairly easy but still you know you got to give kudos to the inkers that can do a great job because you know there are people out there that really can't ink all that well even when you have a great artist so beautiful work next I want to bring to your attention is this Hulk annual it's definitely one of my favorite Hulk annual it have John Byrne cover here and for those not familiar I would like to see if you can guess who okay let's take a look inside here the splash page look at that beautiful drawing the art of this book is just fantastic okay let's look there you go that's a perfect shot of what I mentioned before the rib cage and the apps that's 
John Byrne all the way. You can show me a picture, any picture of a torso, just like that, and I can almost guess it's going to be John Byrne because he has his own way of drawing the body that is very easily distinguishable, in my opinion. You got Doc Samson in this book. This book is fun because it has uh, some of the X-Men cameo. And as you can see, look at the inking and the penciling. The inking is very well done. And I can tell you this is not Terry Austin either. So the last book in this book, I just want to um, bring people attention to various inkers that I think has done a great job inking John's burn work beside Terry Austin. Okay, so no doubt Terry Austin is my favorite for John Byrne, but I wouldn't have any problem at all for the other few inkers that uh, took over the job. And here is some of the favorite pages of this book. Of course you can't have the X-Men, a member of the X-Men involved without having sentinels. is coming up right here. It's my favorite two page. Look at that. Beautiful. This is the Master Mold Sentinel Supreme. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. So, uh, can anyone guess who the inker for this book is? Let me show you. Bob Layton. Bob is very talented. Uh, you know, Bob Layton, no doubt, is probably more known for his work with. Uh, John Romita Jr. with his Iron Man run. Uh, John Romita Jr. art, in my opinion, never looked better than his work in that uh, period with Bob Layton. Bob Layton also do a lot of penciling himself, so he's a very talented guy. But you know, I don't think he get enough credit as a very good inker, if not great inker. Okay. Uh, anyhow. Um, thanks for watching and I hope uh, you enjoyed my videos on John Byrne. Thanks for watching. Bye.